Welcome or welcome back, and I need help on C square. In this problem, we need to find the measure of the number angles 1, 2, 3, and 4 in this rhombus. So, what is so cool about the rhombus? Hey, look at here, down here. The diagonals are perpendicular, that is one property, and another one that I didn't mention the diagonal bisect opposite angles. So, basically, here we know uh, that BD is perpendicular on AC, which makes all these angles here 90 degree. So the measure of angle 2 is 90 degree. Very fast you can find the measure of those type of angles because the perpendicular, the diagonal, the diagonals are perpendicular. Okay, so angle 2 is 90 degree. Now how do I find the other angle. So look at here to this bottom triangle. Okay, this is angle 4, and this is 90 degrees, this one, right? And this is 65. So basically, the measure of angle 4 will be 90 minus 65 because they are complementary. Angle. So that measure of angle 4 will be uh, 25 degrees. Okay, now the measure of angle 1. So if this is 25, angle 1 will be 25 also. Why? The diagonal of a rhombus bisect. I'm going to write it here the opposite angles, which means it cuts the angle A, the big angle A, BAC in half and BCD in half. Uh, so we did one, we did two, we have one more, angle number three, which I'm going to look right here. So um, let me draw this triangle. Okay, no, I didn't do a good job. Okay, so let's see. This one is angle 2, which is 90. This is angle 1, which is 25. How much will be this guy? 65. All right. So the measure of angle uh, 3 is 90 minus 25, which is 65. Some of you might say, hey, yeah, we need it from here, but that's also good. Yeah. Uh, diagonal BD bisect angle. B and D. And that's it for this problem. If you enjoyed this problem, don't forget to click the like button and come back on C-square for more help. Thank you.